Hey, it's Aaron here and in this video today I want to show you all about how you can spin articles manually, meaning how you can spin words and phrases manually in step 2. Which if you're going to be doing most of the tweaking manually, step 2 is where most of the magic is going to happen. So we are now right here, we are rewriting a single article and we are in step 1 and we have entered the test article. Now some of you may, may, may already know this article, it's, it's one we like to use for these uh, quick tutorial videos. So we are in step one and let's move to step two. Spin Rewriter has now been analyzing the meaning of our article for a while and when it's, once it's done we'll be taken to step two. Where Spin Rewriter has prepared a bunch of suggested synonyms for all of our words and phrases from the original article. So here we are in step two. Now if we wanted to go back to step one you can always click here. But we are in step two because we want to rewrite our article by selecting words and phrases. Now, in terms of the user interface here, synonyms are available for all blue words and underlined phrases. If we click on words and phrases, we will reveal those synonyms. So let's do just that, right? We see the article here and it says Porsche and Ferrari are German and Italian sides of the same coin respectively. Now the word respectively is written in blue. And that means we can click, the, click it to reveal the synonyms that Spin Rewriter has prepared for us. So we click this and we get specifically, each, and so on. So I think specifically sounds good. So I can click here this, on this word and I get the little check mark. And as you can see, the word has been added into our article. So this thing that you're seeing here, this is called the, a spin tax or the spin tax. And this is how spun articles generally work. So you always get a curly bracket and then you get the original word and then you get a vertical line which is also called a pipe and then you get the selected synonym and the close bracket. Now if we picked each as well we would get the curly bracket, the original word, a pipe, the first synonym we selected, another pipe and the last synonym we suggested or the second synonym we suggested. So this is, this is the spin tax and this is how magic happens. Now if we go to the bottom of the article here we see that our article is now 3% unique and that we can generate three possible versions which of course makes sense because we can generate three sentences here like two sides of the same coin respectively, two sides of the same coin specifically and two sides of the same coin each. Now I think specifically works while each might not work just quite as well. Okay, so we've now seen how we can check the synonyms of, a, in, of an individual word and how we can select those synonyms and what happens when we do select them. But Spin Rewriter also finds synonyms for phrases. So let's take a look at a phrase for example. Uh, both designs are more than 50 years old. Now more than, you know, it's underlined, which means that it's a phrase that Spin Rewriter, has, Spin Rewriter has synonyms for. Now we can either click the more as its own word, than as it's another own word, or we can click this entire big highlight that highlights the entire phrase. So if we click this highlight, we get suggested synonyms for the entire phrase more than, and let's see what we get. We see greater than, much more than, over, and so on. So let's see, we got spin tags again and we can see that the sentence now reads both designs are more than 50 years old, both designs are greater than 50 years old, both designs are much more than 50 years old and both designs are over 50 years old. So I don't think greater than works all that well, so we can just click it again to remove it. And now we've got the two synonyms in addition to the original word and it all looks pretty promising, right? So, okay, let's, let's move ahead and we'll see if we can find some other examples. Now, inside this word sports cars, this phrase, we can also decide to just click on the word cars. And we get vehicles, we get automobiles, we get autos, and those are all pretty good. So, okay, maybe in entire article, wherever we get the word cars, we want to apply these exact same synonyms. So we don't have to click every word cars in the entire article and pick the same ones. We can just pick them once and then click the apply to all button right here. 
because this will apply selected synonyms to all occurrences of this word, so of the word cars. Let's click this and selected synonyms, so vehicles, automobiles and autos, were applied to 14 other instances of the word cars. So now if we close this, we can see that we picked those synonyms here, sports cars, sports vehicles, sport automobiles, and now we automatically have the same synonyms already used here, both cars, both vehicles, both autom automobiles, modern sports car, vehicle, auto. So this saves us just tons and tons of time and it's really, really helpful. Now we can click another word like modern and let's see what we get. We get contemporary, we get modern day, present day, cutting edge, current sports cars, state of the art sports cars and so on. Now. We already know what the apply to all button does, but let's see what the other buttons do. Right now we're selecting our, our synonyms in a custom manner, like manually, right? But we can also use this quick button right here, which is called top. And what this button does is it quickly selects all the top synonyms that Spinner Rider thinks are correct. So we're working with the word modern. Let's click the word top and see what we get. Okay, Spinner Rider thinks that contemporary and modern day synonyms work best with this in this case. So let's see what we get. There are certain characteristics every modern sports car should possess. Every contemporary sports car should possess. Every modern day sports car should possess. Now this reads amazingly well to me. So this is very impressive. Let's go back into the list of synonyms and see what happens if we click the all button. I think you can I think you can kinda figure out on your own what happens when we click the all button. It will quickly select all synonyms. So we click this and we get all of the synonyms suggested. Now that's a lot of spin text right here and most of those might be okay but some of those are definitely not going to be okay. So let's go back in and if we just take a couple of these suggested synonyms away you can see that the, the user interface element here switches from all back to custom. And we can now once again say, okay, this is clearly too much synonyms, too many synonyms, click top again, and we will get the contemporary and modern day again. And we can pick and choose those as we want. So this is how we do it. And moving down on the article, we can see some more phrases like regardless of whether the Ferrari F430 stops you dead in your tracks. So we click this and we, we can pick despite. So, or irrespective of whether the Ferrari F430 stops you, there's a typo here, but this typo is here from the original article, not from, from when we started working on it. So yeah, it's, it's this easy. Like we see, even if the space is somewhat limited, because they are both cars, if we click the limited, we get restricted, minimal, constrained, or we can select all of the synonyms. And we can also see what exact meaning Spin Rewriter assigns to the word limited right here in this context. Small in range or scope. So yeah, a limited circle of friend. Something that's not abundant, right? So if we click the top button, we'll get even if the space is somewhat limited, somewhat restricted or somewhat minimal. And this once again sounds amazing to me. So this is how you rewrite your article manually in step two. And yeah, it's as easy as that. You just click on the words and you get the synonyms for them and you can click on the phrases as well. Now, what I like to do personally is, yeah, sure, I, I tweak my articles manually from time to time, but it's usually better to go about it, about it this way. Open up the settings and here, let's say, do we want our articles to be as readable as possible or as unique as possible? And okay, we want let's go with the recommended option. We want to use synonyms in our articles that are reliably correct. Um, let's click OK and let's click our famous one-click rewrite. You know I can't not use the one-click rewrite because this is what Spin Rewriter is famous for and it works so amazingly well. So in my experience it's usually best to first use the one-click rewrite option which gives you 99% uniqueness and lets you generate billions of possible versions of your articles. And then once you have all the spin tags from using the one click rewrite option, then you can go back into the article and read through it. And if you see anything that doesn't work, you can still like click on the, on the word and then tweak what spin rewriter has suggested if you prefer some other option. And then 
Once you've used the one-click rewrite option and you've done all of the manual spinning here in step two, your article is ready to be finalized, which you do by clicking this button right here. And this moves you to step three, which is where we'll be spending a lot of our time in one of the next tutorial videos. So I hope you like this video and thank you for being one of our amazing users. Have a great day.